I'm an intermediate greaser. My mama was advanced. She could put that grease on her finger and do the whole entire part. <laughs> Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. So today's video is in collaboration with Sans Beauty. They were kind of to send me some locks to review for you guys. It is also Sip and Slay. Your girl got some new wine to try for you guys. Y'all, look, look, look at this beauty right here. Look at this beauty right here. Oh! This is part of the McBride Sisters Collection Black Owned, Woman Owned Wine Company, okay? And this is the Black Girl Magic Rose. I cannot wait to bust her open. She has been chilling in my fridge and I'm gonna pour her in my new fancy smancy glass. Yes, my girls over at Melanated Ken sent your girl a nice little gift from Tiffany's. I have one of these wine glasses for the longest and they read my mind and got these for your girl. So shout out to my girls, Morgan and Iris over at Melanated Ken, another black woman owned business, I stand. So let's go ahead and pour this up in there. We're gonna do a little bit, just a little teeny, teeny, teeny. You gotta move her around. There we go, there we go, let's see. Okay. <laughs> This is actual like rose rose. This is not Stella Rosa rose. <laughs> it's good, but it definitely has that that real wine taste. <laughs> okay, let me put the top back on that because I don't want to drink too much of that right away because this is to be a whole nother video. So about two months ago, I did a video on my PCOS hair journey. If you don't know, I do have PCOS and it does cause hair thinning, hair balding, excess hair growth, excess weight gain, things like that. I filmed a video on this two months ago to give you guys some background as well as show you guys my natural hair and its natural state and that video pretty much took off. So if you wanna see that video, I will link it down below and in the cards above so you have some background before you get into this video, okay? In today's video, we'll be giving you guys a little bit of update on my hair. You will be seeing my natural hair in its natural state and I will also be showing you guys how I prep my hair and do this crochet style on my very thin and balding natural hair, okay? You are gonna wanna see how I do this because I wasn't really sure if this was gonna work out. I'm still not quite sure if I did it, you know, justice or not, but here we are, sis. L let me not drink too much. <laughs> Now a quick PSA, I'm doing this style to show you guys how this can work on my natural hair, okay? Or if this can work on my natural hair. So you don't gotta tell me you're putting too much tension on your hair, don't cornrow it that way, don't pull it that way, don't do that, that's why you're bald, but listen. Mm, I already know all this. I don't cornrow my hair like this on the daily. This is just a style I wanted to try because I wanna be included. I wanted to try it for me and see if I could rock it on my hair. Okay, so we understand, we here, we here. Okay, have a seat. <laughs> So before we get into all that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so first things first, shout out to y'all for just rocking with your girl. I had no idea that the first PCOS video that I did almost two months ago was gonna take off the way that it did. We're sitting at over 200,000 views. That is my most viewed video on my channel to date. Thank y'all so, so much. So before I start the crochets, I need to first grease my hair, and then I also need to figure out my braiding pattern. Because as you can see, I have a bald spot in here, or thin in here. Some of that hair is bald, it's not gonna come back. I know that, you know that, so we know it together. Um, you can definitely see a lot of little fuzzies that have popped up over the last two months that were not there initially, just from the hair just trying, you know, to grow in. I'm not sure if they're gonna grow past that. You know, we've been here before. So, you know, we'll see, we'll keep an eye on that. So I did wash and condition my hair two days ago and now we're going to go in and grease my scalp because a lot of you guys in my first video asked me how I grease my hair. Hold on, let me take my glasses off. I know you guys can see the glare and that's irritating to me. But yeah, a lot of you guys asked me how I grease my scalp and part of me, well, I wouldn't say part, most of me was just kind of like, like your mama used to do. <laughs> I wasn't really sure why that was a question, um, but I know not everybody grew up the same way that I did. So here we are greasing our scalp. Okay, so the fastest way that I know how to grease my scalp is to just do it like my mom used to do. Okay, blue magic right here. And she would just take it on her finger like this, bring it around the edges, okay? Bring it behind my ear, okay? Take the comb, part it, okay? Part and grease, that's what we doing. You grease through the parts. This is how I grease my scalp. It goes by really fast, for the most part. Just go section by section, 
And I would pretty much say I'm like a, I'm an intermediate greaser, you know what I'm saying? Like I can get the grease pretty much like halfway, but I'm not an advanced. My mama was advanced. She could put that grease on her finger and do the whole entire part. <laughs> In my 36 years of life, I'm still not there, okay? I'm still not there, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, my scalp is dry, so it's good that I'm greasing my scalp beforehand, cause woof, child. Let's see if we can do it. Let's get let's get some on our finger, like that. She could take that much right there and just do the whole part. Let's see. How'd she do that? I don't know how she would do that. It already came off too much. Nope, not gonna make it, not gonna make it. <laughs> I didn't make it even halfway, god dang. I don't know how she would do that, but she would do it. Yep, put it up here. Yes, I win. Thank you. Okay, make sure you grease the other side. Make sure you get up under that nape, get that kitchen. Massage that through. And it's so funny y'all to think about hair growth. Like I'm, I look at my hair every day and every day I'm like, man, my hair not growing, my hair not growing. And then I look back at videos like this and I'm just like, girl, shut up. <laughs> you can do a ponytail now, like you are fine. My hair journey is not nobody else's, it's mine, but I know that it may help some other people, okay? So now we need to do our braiding pattern. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, I'm going to try to use the illusion method. I'm not sure if she actually made this method or if she just made it popular, but Mary Kay Bella, who's another YouTuber um, known for her crochet styles, she does this all the time and it just looks so easy and she makes it look so easy when she does it. Um, I have seen other YouTubers do this method as well, so I want to try to see if I can do it for my thinning hair you know what i'm saying to see if i can make it work for me y'all see these gray hairs in my hair look at these kids look at these kids stressing me out okay so the main focus will obviously be around this area but i need to get my front together first the last time i did crochets on my hair i did individuals in the front and i wore a um half wig cap situation in the back. Those came out really cute, but I didn't want to do that this time because again, I want to see if I can do this style on my head. That's that's what I want to do, okay? How am I going to swing this, y'all? I don't know, I don't know. Look at my ponytail, y'all. Look at my ponytail. Listen, <laughs> I'm so tickled by it, y'all. Hey, I don't want to do straight backs. That's not going to look right or work for my head. What I want to do is I need to go down the middle first. What am I going to do? Hmm, I don't know y'all, I don't know. Help me, help me, help me. I will be doing this with the rubber bands because like I said, my hair grew a lot and I just don't wanna, I don't wanna braid that all the way down. That's gonna be, mm, I don't wanna do all that. Okay, so we're gonna part that off. And then I'm just gonna take my rubber band like this. Next, I'm gonna part it off to the side like this. So we're pretty much making it like at an angle. My bad, y'all, I'm using the Even Edge Control. Um, that is the one I mainly use all the time, so that's what I'm sticking to. working the edge control into those parts. I, don't, I wasn't clear on how to do this part, so I take it, wrap it around the back of the hair, twist a little bit, and then secure it. Okay, so now that we got this side done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll come back and do the back. Okay, so now I need to figure out how I'm gonna do the back. The back will be just cornrowed probably in like four to six um, plaits, but it's the point of how do I cover this part so that it's not, you know, sitting straight out. So most likely this will have to split here and here like this. Okay, so this one's gonna follow right to the back. I 
I wonder if there's like a twist method for this. I don't want to pull this up too much because I'm going to be adding this braid into the one after it. So look at that hang time, y'all. Okay, so for this one, I need to move it over just a smidge. And then I'm going to take a little bit from this one over here. Okay, so I'm take this plait, bring it up here, into there like that. And then keep plaiting down. Okay, so this one I'm gonna split as well because I have a bigger spot right there. This is where I run into trouble, trouble. Okay, so this is how my hair is looking now that I have her all cornrowed down and flat. Now, before you guys tell me, I know you guys are looking at it like, okay, well, why didn't she put an anchor right here? Or why didn't she put a braid right here in the middle? Because my hair is too thin and weak in the middle of my head. So that's why I did the split braid right here to put a crochet right here when it's time. There's no strict tension on my scalp. So, you know, that's good. This is how it looks in the back. Um, I have the one braid that's out. This one is kind of loose. It didn't catch. Dang it, it didn't catch all the way up in there. I'm going to try something. I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna find out. I'm going to use some of my daughter's braiding hair and I'm gonna try to make an anchor braid off of this one down the center here. My crochet needle right in here. Get it through, there we go. Okay, pull through one side and then I'm going to braid it. This definitely probably would have been a lot better if I would have did this before finishing up <laughs> the pattern, but. I went back and fixed it, y'all. So I just went back in and added these cornrows in and tightened these back up the way that I needed them to, and then I just looped them back in there. So it was gonna bother me if I didn't do it. So I just went back in and fixed it really quick. So that's how we sit. Okay, and now for the fun part. So this part of the video is sponsored by Sam's Beauty. They were kind of to me the Janet Collection Nala Tress Crochet Butterfly Locks, and it comes in the 10, 12, and 14 inch. And I believe these are $18.99 a pack. Um, but all the information for the hair will be listed down below so you guys want to check this out for yourself which I think you should because I've seen a lot of reviews on these joints and they look <laughs> They look good, okay? Okay, so this is what the locks look like. Very, very distressed. I really like how these look. It also comes with a loop on the end, so it should be easy install. This one is the 12 inch, so I'm gonna do the 12 in the back and the 14 in the front. I have two packs of hair, so that should be enough. I mean, my head is big. I really do hope this is enough hair. Make it enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use my little latch hook that I got from the beauty supply store for a dollar. Um, put that through there like that. And then should be as easy as hooking it, let me find it, hooking it through this loopy loop. Come on, give me the damn loop. There's one. And I'm gonna try to space these like two fingers apart because they are pretty thick. You can stretch these out just a little bit. Stretch them on out. They can do what they need to do. I don't ran into some trouble. Let me get it. Some of them have bigger loops than other ones, which make for an easy, you know, install. But if it's too tight, I just kind of pull it down a little bit. Now you wanna make sure how you're putting these in, like the angle is right. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. So I'm hoping that I'm putting these in the correct way. Okay, so this is what it's looking like with the 12. So I just put a 14 inch right here in the front um, and it's a little bit longer than I want it. So I'm gonna do the 10 inch here in the front and then the 14 in the middle. Why would there be a dead bird in the yard?
Okay, so that's all the locks I'm gonna put in because this is legit heavy and uh, yeah. Okay, so like a flip over would be cute. Um, obviously I'm on the wrong side. Let me flip it to my right side. Okay, so yeah, flip over would be cute. Let's see, half up, half down pointo is what I want though. Messing with it, keep messing with it. Mm. Oh, my eyes turning red and everything. <laughs> oh, drinking too much. Mm. Let me go get the look together and then I'll come back and we're gonna talk about this, okay? Be back. Okay, so what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Do I have any more of this juice left? Oh, more juice. Okay, let me sip on the wine. Mm. Okay, so what am I thinking about this style? I actually do like it. Now I was real worried y'all that I wasn't gonna be able to make this work just because again, my hair is very, very thin in the middle. Even though I do have hair growth in there and my hair is still growing um, and I do have a lot of fuzzies, when you start parting the hair and maneuvering it certain ways, it's, it's gonna show them gaps. So I think I did work it out for me. I probably could have put a little bit more anchor braids around the middle just to give it a little bit more security. I had a certain look in my head that I wanted and I think I gave it to myself. I'm not mad at this at all. For my first time doing crochets on my natural hair, I am pretty proud of the outcome. Can you see any of my like gaps? Can you see any of that? I guess we'll see it together in the video. <laughs> As you saw when I was putting these down, I did do the 10 inch around here, around the front, and then I got the 14 on the top and then the 12 in the back. These go off your head shape. So even though these are a little bit thicker and you know, dimension, my head is big, okay? 23 inches on a bad day. Boop, boop, we big over here. So I needed a lot of these to, you know, cover my hair, especially because my hair is thinning, my hair is balding. So I gotta cover all those spots that normally hair would, you know, take care of for me. So in the pack, I believe it's 10, locks per size and I had two packs and the only ones that I have left right now is one pack of the 10 inch. This is exactly how I want my butterfly locks to look. They look so good y'all. Crochet is cute and all but the time and energy it takes to do crochet if you don't know how to do crochet Mm -mm. This took me about, I would say, from braiding my hair down and then installing these, this took about almost three hours. Ooh, it's a lot, it's a lot. My patience be running real slim, <laughs> okay? But the looks, the looks I'm gonna have for the next couple days, shh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Shout out one more time to Sans Beauty for sending me these locks. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link for these locks down below so you guys wanna check them out for yourself, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.